Hey guys, um, so for this episode, I de or this video, I decided I would go ahead and react to Nosferatu. I had to think about that because that name always kills me. <laughs> um, I know, I uh, don't know, I've never seen it before. I know of it. I've, uh, I kind of seen the monster already. I know it's about vampires, stuff like that. It's one of the earlier vampire movies. I know it's German and it's silent film. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but I think I read somewhere that Nesferatu, there was a lot of contro controversy, controversy um, because, you know, it was accused of plagiarizing, I believe, Dracula, which, you know, I, I may be wrong, um, but that's kind of kind of what I, I I'm pretty sure that's what I read um but yeah it's kind of intriguing and so I wanted to check it out to see you know and compare it to to Dracula as well see if there's any comparisons at all also I'm trying to finish up Salem's Lot by Stephen King and there's two movie adaptations I want to go check those out to see how those relate to um the you know the book Salem's Lot and also see if Nosferatu might have influenced those movies as well um so yeah that being said let's just get right on into the movie I don't watch many silent films just so you know so it was produced in 1921 I can't remember what year Dracula came out So, so far, just from what I've read, it very similar to Dracula uh, in that there was, you know, a guy and his fiance who is affected by Dracula. I don't know what it is, but all these characters always look so much creepier in silent films. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the way that they're made up to make them more, you know, make them pop more since it's silent. I'm sorry. Every time I see silent films, all I can think of is the Beverly Hillbillies where Aunt Pearl, she, you know, plays the piano during the silent movies. <laughs> I'm just sorry. That's just what popped into my mind. Transylvania. So they actually acknowledge Count Dracula. So is this supposed to be a continuation or, or like a, a spinoff of, of obviously not like a spinoff, but directly supposed to be related to Count Dracula or is this Supposed to be like a different, you know, vampire. So, are they actually talking about Ken Dracula? Do they know that he's a vampire or what? So, when they do silent films, do they speed the film up? Because they seem to walk really fast. So I'm not sure if they're just rocking really fast or they just speed the film up. Maybe they speed it up so that it doesn't drag as much because it doesn't have sound. Didn't the guy tell him not to talk about Transylvania and Count Dracula and what's the first thing he does? Lab dog. So it's Nos Nosferatu. Is that German for vampire? So that is in English. The words are in English. 
Did they like put that in later for like the English version? Or was it actually, you know, in English, uh, the original, since it is made in Germany? Yeah, that plus the fucking music isn't horrifying at all. <laughs> Some creepy ass dude drawled up in a fucking stagecoach and he's all shaded. That's not, you know, that's not telling at all. It's not like, you know, possibly a vampire that's just covered to so protect him from the sunlight. Seeing as how he has his book of vampire, you think he'd realize that. God, this just seems so creepy. Jesus Christ. Well, I'll give you one thing. This is creepier than Count, than Dracula. <laughs> that Dracula, the movie. Once again, it seems pretty similar to Dracula, where he's eaten with the Count um, at his castle. I'm assuming that he probably ends up going to bed or whatever before getting turned into Dracula or the Nesratu servant. So this dude literally reads a book, has a book on vampires, really creepy dude, being creepy, and then bites on his neck, and he doesn't, you know, put it together. Do they like, you know, miss a few pages in the book of vampires? My god, why are the vampires in these old movies so horny? Seriously. So what, he just had gotten to the part where it says, uh, you know, if you get bitten in the throat, then it's probably a vampire. So, the book of vampires. Did vampires exist before now? And they were just like, considered a myth until Count Dracula shows up. Or was it created because of Count Dracula? I must admit, this fucker is a lot more terrifying than Count Dracula, I'll tell you that. I can't help but get me reminded of Gru from Despicable Me when I look at this character. I'm just wondering if that's the inspiration for Gru. <laughs> That'd be hysterical. <laughs> so the, the lid just put itself on? Or was it supposed to be like telekinesis that he used? I couldn't survive in sunlight because I'm pretty sure that sunlight, even you know, brown there. So is this supposed to be at night? It's just lighted so because it's black and white, so it's lighted to make it so that you can see it. Man, nobody's noticing this dude just walk around with that fucking coffin.
once again just this you know it involving possible plague is just making me think again about what's happening now You wonder if they are smarter than the bunch of the people that, you know, were now, are now. In America, we got the anti-vaxxer bullshit. So I know there's plague going on. Are they trying to... I mean, obviously, I don't think it was actually by vampires, but were they, you know... Fictionalizing, like the you know plague being caused by you know vampires. Yeah, why is it always a woman that has to you know stop these monsters? Is that why you didn't want her, want her to read from the Book of Vampires? Because it says a woman would, you know, only a woman can stop him. So that's, he doesn't want her to. For a second there I thought it was the fucking vampire. <laughs> Probably some on purpose. How the fuck did he get up there so fast? Or unless it's that guy, the guy that they it looked like they were chasing was actually, you know, him. It was someone looking for him. So did she know that he was going to come to her? I expected her to come and, uh, I guess lure him so that he'll stay by her side till the cocks crow. So he did eventually get caught again. He just didn't see it. So that's how he's defeated. He stayed out too long. I was kind of questioning it because... It looked like he was out running around in the daytime for most of the movie. Well, it looked up. That was the end. It was relatively short. Definitely shorter than most of the other movies I've been watching. Um, I, you know, I, I will say this about this movie. It's hell of a lot creepier than Dracula, I'll tell you that. I think it's just because combination of it being a silent film and so it's a lot faster. Um, so when after take not uh uh like when they first see him on stagecoach that was such a creepy scene because stagecoach stagecoach was going so fast and then the music of uh, overlaying it was just so fucking creepy um and you know also the just the music itself kind of gives atmosphere to certain scenes so yeah, it's a little bit creepier um, than Dracula. Um, I was kind of noticing a lot of similarities between Dracula and this because I have seen Dracula before. So, um, and they actually do 
say Count Dracula. I'm not sure if that character was supposed to be Dra Count Dracula or it was just supposed to be another vampire. But um, let's just go check out IMDb and see if there's any um, answers on there. So not much is uh, not much trivia on IMDb. Um, but let's check it out and see um, what it says. So the movie was banned in Sweden due to excessive horror. The ban was finally lifted in 1972. That was actually take a long time to finally unban it. But yeah, their definition of excessive horror and mine are completely different. I watched so many, you know, gore fests. All knowing prints and negatives were destroyed under the terms of settlement of a lawsuit by Bram Stoker's widow. However, the film was subsequently surfaced through second generation reels in other countries. Many films featuring Graf Orlock was filmed during the day and when viewed in black and white this becomes extremely obvious. This potential blooper is corrected when the official versions of the film are tinted blue to represent night. <laughs> the creature that they said is a werewolf during the scene at the end is actually a striped hyena. I was wondering what that was supposed to be. I think I missed that it was supposed to be a werewolf, but I was wondering if it was, I thought it might have been hyena or a wild dog. I was like, seems kind of confused about that, but I guess that answers that. Count Orlog is only seen blinking once on screen near the end of Act 1. The film was loosely based on a Bram Stoker book but the characters' names were changed in an attempt to prevent legal action, which feel failed. The subtitles were translated into French. Then when the film went to the U.S. into English, I was wondering about that, but with Stoker's character's name used, in the meantime, the original prints were destroyed because of the legal action, so the original subtitles were lost. The American version went to the U.K. and then was translated back into German for a release there. When the restorers were about to make a definitive version, they were looking through a number of archives. Unfortunately, all the prints they found had to ch change subtitles, so they gave up hope of being able to recover the originals. They later heard a good print in an East German archive. When they got there, they found out that the print had been loaned out. The restorers were then offered to have a look at another print from the archive, which wasn't considered as good as the other one. When the restorers observed the print, they discovered that it had the original subtitles. It was in, had been sitting there for half a century and nobody had noticed. <laughs> That's a lot of, you know, a lot of trying to figure out all the, you know, where the originals are. There was another version of the film released in the late 90s that replaced the film score with the music of metal band type O negative. The film was introduced by the late David Carradine. That would be interesting to see, you know, the film with metal. So, yeah, those are some some facts. Not as many, of course, probably because it's an older movie. Um, but yeah, like I said, I actually, I think I might enjoy this a little bit more than Dracula just because this film comes off creepier than Dracula does for me. Um, Nasferatu is definitely creepier than Dracula. I kind of think I like those kind of vampires more because, I don't know what it is, but, uh, anyways. Um, but yeah, that was my reaction to Nosferatu, I guess, if there's any, um, I guess vampire movies you think I just have to see. Um, I mean, I, I, I've watched most of the Underworld series. So those are the, the movies that I'm most familiar with when it comes to vampires. <laughs> and then you also want to count Twilight. <laughs> if you want to count those as vampires. Um, I actually do like Twilight in a so bad they're good you know, kind of way. Um, but anyways, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you want to uh, subscribe and uh, get notifications for all my videos um, um and yeah you guys have a nice night and stay safe out there and I'll talk to you later bye